Hello and good morning everybody and today we will be looking at another very exciting topic which I'm sure has got your creative mathematical juices flowing which is how to multiply and divide algebraic fractions. Now the good news is you've probably been multiplying and dividing numerical fractions since you're about, all oh, I don't know, 11 or 12. So hopefully if I asked you to do something like this, 2 thirds times 5 sevenths, by now you're already jumping up and down with your arms wide and saying, I know how to do that. I'm going to do the two numerators and multiply them together. Two times five is 10. And I'm going to do the two denominators and multiply them together to give me 21. And there's my answer. And can I cancel it down? No, I can't. So that is my answer in its simplest form. And guess what? Multiplying algebraic fractions is no different to that. We'll do an example of that in a minute. And again, if I ask you to divide fractions, uh, let's say something like, I don't know, you know, two thirds divided by, say, five sevenths. Hopefully again you're going, I know what I'll do, I know what I'll do, I'm going to flip the second fraction and I'm going to multiply. So I'm going to flip the second fraction, and instead of dividing I'm going to multiply, and that's going to give me 14 over 15. 14 fifteenths. Can I simplify it? No, because I'm going to leave it as it is. Well, exactly the same principle works when you're multiplying or dividing algebraic fractions. Let's do a first little example. Let's say you were given something like so. x squared minus 4 over 3y squared plus y and you're going to times that by 3y squared minus 2y minus 1 all over x squared plus x minus 6. So it's a multiplication, so we're just going to multiply the top by the top and the bottom by the bottom. But the only thing we might do that's slightly different is because we can see these look like we've got quadratics floating around, it's probably going to be worth seeing if we can factorise them before we do anything, because that might help us uh, make them slightly simpler. Um, before you get too complicated. So let's have a look. Can I factorise x squared minus 4? The geniuses amongst you will be going, I oh, hang on a minute, that's the square, that's 2 squared, that's the difference, that's the difference of 2 squares. So we can rewrite that as x plus 2, x minus 2. And let's factorise the bottom expression here. It's got a common factor of y. So I've now got that on the bottom. OK. Well, let's see what we get when we factorise over here. Aha, we've got a 3y squared here in this quadratic. So I think we're going to have a 3y and a y. I think we're going to have a, let's have a, let's have a thing. 3a plus 1 and a y minus 1. Let's just check if we've got that right. Minus 3y plus y gives me minus 2y. Plus 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. Brilliant, got that over there. And on the bottom here, this is going to be x plus x plus three, x minus two, x plus three, x minus two. Let's just say x squared. Take two x plus three. Brilliant. There we go. So I now factorise that fully. Why is that so helpful? Well, let's have a look. I'm going to multiply these all together. So all of these are going to end up on the numerator, and all of these are going to end up on the denominator. So is there anything I can cancel down now or simplify? Yes, there is. 3y plus 1 on the top, divided by 3y plus 1. They cancel out. x minus 2 on the top, x minus 2 on the bottom. So they cancel out. So I can simplify it before I have to do any sort of tidying up and multiplying. So in the end, what am I going to be left with? x plus 2 times y minus 1 on the top. And on the bottom, y times x plus 3. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is about as complicated as it's going to get at this stage in terms of multiplying an algebraic fraction. Now let's try doing an algebraic division. Here's another, uh, another couple of algebraic fractions that we want to be dividing. So just as before, we're going to see if there's any kind of factorising we can do to find common factors which we can then cancel out before we start playing about with it too much. And then because it's a division, we're going to take this fraction, we're going to flip it over, and we're going to change the divide to a times. So it doesn't really matter what order we do those in. So let's just let's just start on this. 
I'm going to rewrite this as um, 1 minus x times 1 minus x. And I'm going to factorize what's on the bottom here. So now I think it's going to be x plus 4 x minus 1. Let's just check that. x squared. Take an x, add 4x, give me my plus 3x minus 4. Okay, fantastic. Let's change the divide to a times. And now let's flip this fraction over. So I'm now going to write the x squared plus 4x on the top. But I'm also going to factorise that as well. And there's a common factor of x that I can take out of that. And this x squared minus 8x plus 7, I'm now going to write on the bottom on the denominator. But again, I'm going to factorise it. And I think that's going to be x minus 1, x minus 7. Let's just check that. Yep, that all works. Now the question is, can we tidy it up at all? Let's take a look. We've got on the top here an x plus 4, and on the bottom here an x plus 4. So let's cancel those things out. Is there anything else we can cancel out? Let's have a look. My brain is now slowly melting. So I'm going to pause the video and have a little think. Aha! Brains kicked into gear. Of course, what we have over here is x minus 1 times x minus 1, which if we were to expand that would give you x squared minus 2x plus 1. If we multiply those together, and actually if you look up here, if you multiply those out together, you would also get x squared minus 2x plus 1. So in fact, these two bits cancel each other out. So actually, what am I left with? Just these two bits. So my answer is just x over x minus 7. And that's the really neat bit about being able to do this. You can take something that looks horribly complicated and simplify it, and eventually it ends up looking like something much more manageable like that. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is as all you need to be able to do in terms of multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions.